double D. A man at one with the forces of the sea. Die another day was an honor. They said no go, we said go. Brilliant idea, great people, good action, beautiful shots. Brian Kailana called me the Hawaiian cowboy. George Downey, he called me the Duke Kahanamoku of the North Shore. Others called me a guardian angel. I brought life back to life. Lifeguarding to me was what I was put here on this planet to do. I love helping people. And in return, I've been blessed. In the Hawaiian language, a kapuna is somebody that's a leader, not a follower. I'm very honored to be a kapuna. Derek is a very experienced water man. Um, he is inspiring to a lot of people and is really all about safety and challenging, taking challenges on. Derek Dorner, he's a big wave legend. He's, he's an icon. He's, um, he's a great person, a great family man. And, you know, I'm still looking up to him. He still serves bigger waves than me. And, you know, he's, he's at the top of the food chain. A soul surfer preparing for a new challenge. Sinister. So this is the project that we're working on. It's made for a particular surf spot. See, there's the bird. There's his eye. Eye. Or that can be his eye too. Yeah, you see it? <laughs> and then here's its custom, 11 0 by 20, three and a quarter. I'm not gonna tell you how he does it, but if you look at all the colors, Jack Reese is the best glasser in the world. So this is like Einstein's kitchen. A creation combining old and new elements, high tech and fantasy. Double D is determined to live up to his values. His combined sense of respect and pure joy. His faith. A faith based on the force of nature and the strength of body and mind. Badass. A toe surfing pioneer. Prepared to face the elements with technical perfection, empowered by adrenaline. Whenever I go surfing in big surf, danger is the number one factor. The ocean is the most dangerous force in the world. You have to take that fear and process it in the right direction to make it more powerful. Toe surfing, sport of kings, born of the wish to escape the crowds, to be one with nature. I love riding big waves. It is the most unbelievable, mind-boggling experience one could go through. The rush, the speed, the sensation, the agony of defeat. The experience of the ocean gives strength and life, the ability to share and love, the essence of aloha, to breathe life. You know how to be a good surfer? You gotta be a really good swimmer. My dad was teasing me a lot. 17-year-old Tiger, Double D's son. I think he's taught me a lot in bigger surf, how to stay low and how to commit. But it takes a lot of your own self-confidence too. I guess like, it goes both ways. Tiger charges hard. Wow. Oh, 
Nothing can distract him. He's committed. You can't go halfway in big waves. You know, you have to go all the way. When you're turning around and going for a wave, you, you gotta keep going. If you think, stop halfway, you're gone. You get really hurt. A personality born of water. Tiger has the right stuff to take Double D's art to the next dimension. I'm still learning every day, but it's my passion for sure. Water is the guiding force of his life. A force that keeps him focused on every moment, accepting that much is out of his hands. He trusts in the flow. I'm one that operates out of the comfort zone and I enjoy bringing people to that level because they've never been there and it changes their life. People look at me as a teacher. He teaches big wave surfing. Being around someone like Derek Donner <laughs> is priceless. He knows what he's doing and he really is thinking about my life and he's watching me. So it's a big privilege to be around him in big waves. You're gonna have to train a little bit more with your legs. I thought I had strong legs. Thank you so much. Today, Halewa Surf and Sea is not only a surf shop, but a unique museum of the surf culture Double D helped create. Look, these are our future oh, surfers right here. How you guys surf? How come you're not surfing today? I was sponsoring him, but he died. I saw it. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. I have a lot of friends who passed away too. And we're here. And I was one breath away, huh? God bless his soul. Are you Derek Donner? Yeah. Uh, I see you in the films. Right on. In the wake up call. Cult classics. I love these old photos because here's the very beginning days of Laird and my fan and me on the wave. Nobody was doing it. We were on the moon. I lived across the street on a chicken farm. In my bedroom, I could see through the bushes the pipeline. Pipeline, the wave that has killed more surfers than any other, the wave that taught Double D life-saving, the wave he loves. I became a lifeguard right out of high school. I had already been in the ocean for 15 of my 18 years. It was natural. I was very good in stressful situations. Learning every little detail needed to save thousands of lives. He was drawn to life saving and saved people others would have given up on. You know, as much as he's fearless, he's also very discerning with uh, safety first and um, an order and structure to things. Derek, tough as hell. Fearless lifeguard and a fearless big wave surfer. Very good person to have around in any situation. He's my godfather, which in Hawaii means he's pretty much like, if my dad wasn't here, Derek would be taking care of me. More and more inexperienced surfers came to Hawaii. Lifeguards were brought in from the mainland, but surfers kept getting killed. Double D kept risking his life to save others. His soul suffered. I quit my job. I told him to fuck off. After more than 30 years of lifeguarding, the ocean taught him a lesson. He can surrender control and let the ocean lead. He has mana, the primal force of Hawaii. They call him a true kapuna. From the time I was born, 
I knew I would become a waterman. What I did not know was the journey it would take me on. Double D's soulmate is soul surfer Rochelle Ballard, called the world's best female tube rider. My dream of surfing is to be able to become one with the wave and its flow and its power and its grace. And in surfing, you're always growing and learning. And that's the experiential process of it. And it's a joy. The joy to breathe, to be in nature, to drink it in. I've learned to give and receive by Hawaiians. They're the one who taught me respect. The ocean brings health and wealth to me every time I touch it, like no other feeling in the world. No matter what we go through in life, we're going to always be saved by the ocean. I went from Waimea to talking to Uncle Derek about Eddie, um, Aikau, and all the stories. And I liked his style. He was a soul surfer. We were at one with the sea by ourselves. I had one good wave. It was fun. As heavy as it is sometimes, it's, it lightens the spirit and uh, it's calming. We're going over to Jack Reeves' glass job. The board, the gun. Project Sinister, which is probably gonna be red. A red pin line with the red sticker. Boys and toys. Well, Dick Brewer shaped it, and I came up with the idea, and Brewer comes up with the hands. And Jack is the master samurai glasser. Oh, there it is. Tiny little Jack Reeves, Palmalu glassing. It embodies toe surfing experience, a retro gun, classic yet state of the art. Woo, look at that. Wow, it's definitely a spear what we would probably call a Ferrari. It's a board predestined for a unique challenge, to surf a wave bigger than Jaws, a wave sacred to the Hawaiians, a wave once surfed by Hawaiian kings. It's really all about experiencing waves in all facets to the depths of the sea. I am a pioneer. The people who do extreme sports in the sea creating doors for others to follow. I am Master Waterman, Garden of the Sea. Ina Ia Na Hulu Kupuna. Aloha, Derek Donner. Aloha.